Caregivers, if you're feeling like you don't want to be a caregiver anymore and your family is driving you crazy, stay with me today for the caregiving chat. Do you have a mixed family? Maybe you have step parents, step brothers, step sisters, and you just don't get along. Or maybe you just don't get along with your regular brothers and sisters. Are they exhibiting bully like behaviors? Are they over controlling and everything that you do is wrong? One of the challenges with getting along with family members is that we all have different ideas about what our parents need for care. And I'll share some humorous ideas because this can be a really heavy subject, which is why I'm laughing about it. For example, let's say that there's an emergency at the house or you think it's an emergency at the house. You know, you're a light bulb going out at mom's does not constitute an emergency. For me, true story, an emergency was my father calling me on the phone after my mom had passed away saying, I almost committed suicide. That is an emergency. An emergency is not your brother or sister picking up the wrong brand of cereal at the grocery store. Yes, it's irritating. Yes, mom or dad might like Kellogg's Rice Krispies instead of something else, but it's not life or death. Now, if your brother tells you that caregiving is women's work, <laughs> that is not an emergency, that is an insult. Men who are watching, caregiving is not women's work. Maybe it used to be women's work, but more of you are becoming caregivers. Don't insult your sister or your wife or anyone else in the family by saying that caregiving is women's work. So how do you manage through all of this craziness? One is that you just don't compete. You may be a caregiver who thinks that you know the best about mom and dad and more about what mom and dad need than anyone else and nobody else can do it right. If you're saying that, you should ask yourself a question. Do you need to feel more loved by your parents than your brothers and sisters? Are you, what are you trying to compete for? We got to give up all of these childhood mom or dad liked me better. They liked you better. You got the hula hoop. I got the train set. All of that has to go away when we become caregivers and we want to put mom or dad or a husband or a wife or another family member in a situation where we're looking at their interests and not, it's not about us. It ceases to become about us as caregivers. So rather than competing, collaborate. The other tip for today, and this, is, this can be a really hard one, I know. Anybody who is negative or emotional, who may snap at you, they're doing it because they're upset about something. If you can be patient enough or be considerate enough or be compassionate enough to think that wow, they must be really angry about something or someone hurt their feelings today. Maybe I should be a little more patient or maybe I should ask what happened with them. If you can put yourself in a position of being more compassionate about why others are being over controlling or bullying or worrying or calling you saying, oh my God, we have an emergency today that we have to deal with. If you can be a little bit more compassionate about that, getting along with family members who drive you crazy can become a little easier. And there's a, a song that I listened to yesterday that I hadn't heard for a long time. It's by a gentleman named Keb Mo, K-E-B-M-O, in case you want to look him up. And the song is called I'm Telling You Now. And the lyrics are something like, let bygones be bygones, troubles be gone. If I never told you how I feel about you, I'm telling you now. If you get into a situation where you just want to kill somebody, pull that song up on the internet. It's really good advice. I'm Pamela Wilson. I help caregivers and aging parents solve caregiving problems. There is a link in this video uh, to an article on my blog about what do you do when you don't want to be a caregiver anymore. Caregivers, love yourselves, love your family, have a fabulous Valentine's Day, and I will see you tomorrow in another video.